Excellent. The gate's open, and we can continue our search for Tanae. Well done. Before we move on, I've managed to bring the data pad online again. It might contain clues on what happened. Hmm. Looks like it's a personal unit. The primary user is Lieutenant Tasha Yar of Starfleet. Give me that. The first entry dates to 2389, nearly 40 years after she was executed. Or at least 40 years after she was supposed to have been executed. I am Natasha Yar, security chief for the Federation Starship Enterprise D. Well, at least that's who I was. For the past 40 years, I've been Tal Shiar prisoner 24601. But even that changed a week ago. Our regular supply drops from the Star Empire stopped three months ago. The guards started caring too much about what might be going on elsewhere in the Quadrant and caring too little about their prisoners. We were able to overpower them. We've managed to recover some data pads like this one, but there isn't enough here for us to call for help or escape. I'm leaving this record in case anyone comes looking for us. Sila. If you find this, I still love you. I've missed you. Lieutenant Yar was supposed to have been executed. My father said it happened. There were witnesses. How can... Clearly, there was some judicious alteration of history. The Enterprise C survivors were here, but something drove them away. Something more than the loss of supplies. We should continue looking for the survivors. Your duplicate of Tanae may yet be alive on this rock. It would not have been the first time. No doubt he thought she might still have been useful in some way. I can see the pity in your eyes. Keep it. His decision allowed me to become the person I am. I do not regret that. Look, there's a path ahead. Hmm. This anomaly looks more stable than the others. It's probably less deadly, but let's not find out now. Lieutenant Yar never discussed Turkana 4. When I was older, I discovered why. She was a survivor. It is clear that her arrangement with my father was just that. Obviously, she continued that trait into her existence here. There's more ground to cover. There's another unstable anomaly. The anomaly has left some of the rock in a molten state. You took readings in orbit. Surely we should continue looking.
Clearly, these anomalies must be connected to your mission. Now, while you take a leisurely stroll through the jungle, I will be moving on. It appears that there are more survivors than initially believed. Ah, there's a lot of interference, but I think I'm picking up a life sign. Tanae! Go away! Leave this place! Seems your duplicate Tanae is still alive, and she isn't pleased to see you. I don't really blame her. I wasn't exactly thrilled to see you again either. She's run off, but there's an even larger anomaly close by. It looks like it was a structure at one point, but I doubt any survivors would remain in a ruin like this. Another temporal anomaly, and this one is larger than the last. There are temporal eddies moving through the area and a few stable locations between them. Now, if you establish temporal stabilizers in these three locations, we can disperse the anomaly and get a better look at the area. Hopefully, the Enterprise C survivors were able to escape the area before this happened.
Enemy targets on sensors. 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 Follow the temporal eddies closely, and you should be shielded from the worst of the effects until you reach one of the safe pockets. There's a stable pocket ahead of you. Set up the first stabilizer there. That's the first stabilizer. Two more to go. Incredible! Dispersing the anomaly restored more than I expected. We should look for clues.
Some sort of temporal inversion happened here. Some of the rock returned to an earlier molten state, while some of the building materials aged over 200 years. Anyone standing close to these objects would have been affected as well, regressed to infancy or aged to the grave. Well, I suppose it was nice that Yar thought of me, but that doesn't change the fact that she was going to steal me away like a thief in the night. If she had truly cared, she would have stayed where she was. My father was not cruel or petty, at least not to me. He was hard because he needed to be. I thrived because of it. The Enterprise C survivors were surprisingly resilient. Tasha's notes are more sparse, but seem to record a productive, if primitive, community. They mention a secondary site close by. If your Vulcan survived, there may be others, and they may be close. Over here! There's a path with recent footprints. I'm reading another anomaly, further down the path. Tanae might be there. The Tanae anomaly and its allies must be purged. Enemy target on center. Personal shield losing power. That Foley and Away team must have beamed down to investigate the anomalies. This looks to be a well-worn path. Some recent footprints here, heading the other way. They might have run into Tholians. It seems your Vulcan passed this way recently. Perhaps the cavern mentioned Natasha's logs is nearby. We should follow the tracks. It seems many of the refugees would be alive if it weren't for the anomalies. I'm detecting signs of recent habitation in this location. Maybe we'll find more answers. This was some sort of dwelling up until a few months ago. If I'm reading this right, there was an explosion of tetrion particles here. A fatal one, judging by the organic residue on the walls. No one's been living here since, according to these tricorder readings. are temporal in origin. I, 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 I watched Richard wither and die before my eyes. An anomaly appeared and moments later he aged a hundred years. We buried him this morning in the clearing. I, I never expected he and I would end this way. I miss him. Richard was a wonderful partner for these last decades, a good man. Built a wonderful life despite it all. My only regret.
sad is that Sila never got to know how kind and brave Richard was. He'd have been such a wonderful stepfather. Tanae hasn't been seen in days. I'm worried she won't come back. I I'm worried she will. I thought her strange behavior might be a degenerative Vulcan sickness, but it, she was answering questions before they were asked, and she's been close to every anomaly that's happened. Maybe I'm jumping in shadows. The part of me that is still a security officer on the Enterprise doesn't think I am, though. This is Tanay. I have agreed to report the final words of Natasha Yar and to hold this log for the future. If there is one, if it isn't here already, I... What? No! Focus. Focus. Natasha Yar died of a fever. She... She wished for the story of the crew of the Enterprise C to be they were brave beyond expectation. She wished for her daughter to know that she was loved and that Natasha lived a long and happy life. But Natasha missed her and she hoped her daughter's life was wonderful. Natasha requests that if this log is found, that this record be conveyed to Sela of Romulus and to the Federation. Do not come Near me, end log. I think I see movement in the bushes. Tanae? Stop following me! Enemy target on center. No. Go away! I told you to stay away! I... I am dangerous. You should not be here. No one can be here. No! Not again! No! Not again! There's a new anomaly forming. Folians! of temporal interference. Because of what happened with the Enterprise C, you exist in two places at once. We can fix this. You and your counterpart can be reintegrated. Your memories will be integrated as well, but the anomalies will stop. I, I see the logic in your presence here. I am anomalous. My presence here must be sufficiently reconciled to preserve the order of things. I presume you are here to accomplish this. Thus, I will go with you.
all this time, she was here. I believe she was dead. Tasha believed I might come looking for her. She believed it so strongly she left logs in case. Tanae held her logs for her. And now, she is truly dead. This place has led to some interesting revelations, shall we say? I think it best we leave before more Tholians show up. Looks like we beamed up just in time. Several Tholian ships are on an attack vector. Again, another anomaly is forming. found my displaced temporal counterpart. Well done. An operations team is standing by on this vessel to assist with her temporal reintegration. Please beam her aboard and we will begin the process. It is possible that I may acquire a new set of memories as part of the process. A small price to pay to stabilize the timeline. As it has been said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. I see. Having read the briefing from Starfleet Command, I find her presence here to be most logical, considering the situation. Very well. I will take custody of Sela and deliver her to a secure facility once the reintegration procedure is complete. Beam her aboard with my temporal counterpart. It seems our journey is at a parting of the ways once more. I did, and I will. But I have a condition to my surrender. Tell me about my mother. The timeline is stabilizing. Anomaly counts are dropping and our agents are reporting a decline in temporal aftershocks due to recent events. That's a good thing, by the way. The aftershocks of our recent discoveries on Picte may take some time for Sela to resolve, however. I hope she's able to find a sense of peace and closure from what she's learned today. I'll be heading back to Temporal Command once we've fully integrated the two Tanais. 
be seeing you. The timeline is secure at the 